Hey, what's up everyone? A feature I've always wanted for Chrome OS is the ability to capture screen recordings. There have been ways of doing this, but many require a subscription fee to get the highest quality recording. Luckily, Google has been working to have this feature built into Chrome OS. The feature is not enabled by default because it's not complete, but with the latest version of Chrome OS, you can try it now. So let me show you how. Okay, so let's begin with setting up screen capture on Chrome OS. The first thing we'll need to do is to bring up a Chrome web browser. And on the web browser, you want to access some flags. And to get to it, you type Chrome colon four slash four slash flags. Hit enter. Now in the search box, you want to search for the screen capture flag. So type screen capture. Now, in the screen capture section that appears, you want to enable it. Set it to enable and then restart. Your Chromebook will now restart. Okay, so now the Chromebook is restarted. The next thing we want to do, we can close this browser window. Then, if we go down to where the time is on the Chrome OS and click on it, we will see that there's a new icon saying screen capture. This is one of the ways to access the screen capture menu. So if we click on it, the screen darkens and then we get a bar at the bottom with different options from screenshots. The first option lets you toggle between screenshot and screen recording. The next option is to take a full screen screenshot or a full screen recording. The next one, to take a partial screenshot or partial recording. And the last option is to take a screenshot of the specific window. But for me, this option doesn't work with screen recordings, but it does work for screenshots. Okay, so now let's take a couple of screenshots and go over these icons. So we're set to screenshot mode. And now if I click on the first icon, it tells me here, Click anywhere to capture full screen. I capture full screen and a screenshot is saved to my downloads folder. Now if we go back and press the screen capture button again. Let's try out the next icon. There's the partial screenshot button. So we click on it. Now we can select a specific area of the screen that we want to get a screen capture from. So I'll draw a square around here. And then if I hit the capture button, it'll take a screenshot of that specific square. But there's other things we can do. We can resize the square. Or we can move it around. I'll hit the capture button to take the screenshot. And another screenshot is saved to my downloads folder. Now we press the screen capture button again. Let's try out the last button. Well, let me actually open up a window first. Now if I press the screenshot button again and select the window screenshot. I can select a specific window or application to take a screenshot of. So I don't have to use a partial screenshot to precisely resize a box to an app that I want to take a screenshot of. I just put my mouse over the window or app, press a button and a screenshot of this files window has been taken. So those are the screenshots. Now, if we go to the downloads folder, we will see the three screenshots that I took. This is the first one is the full screen screenshot. The next one is a partial screenshot. And the last one is the window screenshot. Now let's do the same thing with screen recordings. Those actually take videos of your desktop. They operate in the same exact way. Hit the screen capture button. You want to toggle this here from screenshot to screen record mode. Now let's try a full screen recording. I'll click this, click 
click anywhere to record, press a button, I get a timer. And it started to record. Let me open up YouTube. And just play a quick video. And I'll stop. And to stop, just go to the app bar and you'll see a stop button right here. So click that stop button. And it tells you that a screenshot is saved on the downloads folder. Now let's try partial screenshots. So click on the screen capture button. Now click on the partial screenshot icon, select the area you want to take a partial screenshot of, and then hit record. You get the timer again, and it's going to start recording. If I move other windows in this area that I chose to record, you'll see those windows move. And even this, you'll see this move when the video is done recording. Now let me stop the video. Another screen recording has been finished. Now, the final way of recording videos hasn't worked for me, but let's see if it works now. This is the window recording. So if I click on here and select the Chrome YouTube website, it should start recording that website and the size of the Chrome window. I let it play for a little while. And now I'll stop. Okay, so now we have three screen recordings that we just finished. Let's take a look at those. So the first one was the full screen screen recording. And this is it. The quality of the text um, and the image quality looks pretty good, but the motion is pretty choppy. So you don't really want to use this for anything that requires fast motion. Let me close this and let's check out the next video. This is the partial screen recording. So here we go. It recorded that specific area that we chose of the screen. You see the files window move around. And then I'll move the Chrome OS, the Chrome window and that moves. So that worked too. Now the final video I recorded was the window recording and this didn't work for me before but i'll just double click it to demonstrate what happens so i would actually get sound from this but i would just get no video out of it maybe google will disable this button when you turn on video recording or it might actually work in the future i don't know at this moment let's take the time to talk about how audio is recorded the only audio that gets recorded is your microphone's audio. This means that the Chrome OS audio you hear in a recording is what's coming out of your Chromebook speaker and is heard from your Chromebook's microphone. In short, you do not get internal audio capture, but a microphone capture of your Chromebook speaker. This also means that in a noisy environment, you will also capture a lot of background noise. Check out this recording I made with me speaking, my TV playing in the background, and my Chromebook playing a YouTube video. Testing out the audio features of the screen recording for Chrome OS. Right now, I'm in a noisy room, have my TV playing in the background, and also my Chrome OS speakers going. Currently, there are no options on how to configure your audio for screen recordings. The best you can do is go into the Chrome OS audio mixer and change the mic input volume, or mute the mic if you want no audio at all. There are other ways of bringing up the screen recording menu besides clicking on this icon. You can also use the regular Chrome OS screenshot hotkeys to bring it up. Typing the Control, Shift, Show All Windows hotkey will bring up the screen recording menu defaulted to partial screenshot mode. Typing the Alt, Shift, Show All Windows hotkey will bring up the screen recording menu defaulted to full screen screenshot mode. These hotkeys offer a quicker way of bringing up the new screen recording menu. So that's an early look at the screen recording feature of Chrome OS. 
It does currently need a lot more work, but I'm happy that Google is currently working on this much needed feature. But here are some improvements I would like to see. Currently, fast changing video is choppy, so I would like to see options that will let you set the quality of the recording. Audio settings that give you the choice of recording between internal and mic audio would also be nice. If those two features are implemented, it would completely change the way I capture my Chromebook screen. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll speak to you next time.